here comes a load of good news for earth movers everywhere. A great bulldozer. Even before it goes to work, some of its advantages are apparent. First, it has no A-frame. That means saving three full feet in the height of the machine, so it can travel through low viaducts without costly reloading. Arrived at the job, these bulldozers come off the trailer as easily as they are transported. Simply back the load into a bank, remove the blocking, and back the tractor off the truck. A low center of gravity helps stabilize the machine under all conditions of transportation, unloading, and operation. One look at the dozer will tell you there's never been anything like it. But you must follow it on to the job to see what those clean, trim lines really mean in capacity and performance. First, with blade and straight position, it turns to push loading scrapers. The operator contacts the scraper with the center of the blade, and the dozer can take it because of its high tensile steel mold board with center reinforcing plate, backed by heavy steel gussets. The strength and clean design of the blade are matched with the traction, power, and speed of the tractor. There are nine speeds in this model, five forward and four reverse. On another section of the job, other sizes of this great bulldozer line are handling full loads and spreading the fill. First comes a D6 with straight type dozer pushing a heaping load. And it's sticky material. A D8 and angling type dozer are dressing down one of the slopes. Two things make the work outstanding. First, there's the ease with which the outfit is handled. And second, the way the earth rolls ahead of the blade. This rolling action is built into these dozers. It comes from many exclusive features. The design of the cutting edge, curvature of the blade, and the simple tilting adjustment of the whole tool. Now let's go to a newer section of the job where a D7 and angling blade are clearing undergrowth, preparatory to building a road and a 30-foot earth dam. The operator has worked his tractor to the top of the hill, so all of the earth moving will be done down grade. Brush and small trees snap like matchsticks as the machine drives forward to get the work rolling. Almost before we know it, the blade is digging deep into pay dirt. But it's not until we move closer that we see how the earth is really rolling. It fills the blade from end to end and rolls forward in a brown cascade. Yet the minute the trip is completed, the whole load slides quickly and cleanly onto the fill. As the machine bites deeper into the hillside, it tells its own story of capacity and performance. See how easily it does its work. You've never seen an outfit like this one. For here is the world's first bulldozer, designed and built by the manufacturer of the tractor which powers it created as a complete earth-moving package to bring new standards of performance and profit to your job. As the machine returns for a widening cut, you see again what these design features mean in terms of performance. The rolling action of the blade overshadows everything else. The load stays alive and active, and the blade scours clean and dumping. Even when pioneering, this dozer leaves a smooth, clean path behind it with fingertip hydraulic steering making turns and side casting easy. If trees get in the road, they're toppled over in a hurry. If the trunk falls squarely across the road, that makes only a little difference, just one extra shove. With the first section of the road roughed out, the operator moves to the top of an opposite hill, taking advantage of gravity throughout the job. Again, the earth rolls, and it keeps on rolling. Earth moves easier when it rolls like this, so you get big yardage with the lowest fuel consumption and minimum wear and tear on the tractor. It's the same process all over again, with the blade slicing through roots, trees, and tough soil to get the road pushed through in a hurry.
See the tremendous yardage these dozers can handle and the ease with which they do their job. Even in moving young mountains, there's that perfect balance between traction, engine power, and blade capacity that is writing new records everywhere in lowest costs on earth. One mighty blade full follows another. The road takes shape by leaps and bounds while the operator lets the fingertip controls take the drudgery from his job. Earth must be borrowed from nearby banks to build a dam across the valley. So the big outfit climbs the slope and pushes tons of earth down onto the right of way. How easily and surely it goes about its business. Once more, the big push is on. Everything in sight seems to move as another giant load goes rolling and tumbling down onto the film. It takes more than a strong blade to stand up to work like this. The blade must be well braced and rigidly supported by a sturdy frame and push arm. Blades take plenty of punishment when trees must be removed from the right-of-way, since the entire force of the tractor is applied at a single point on the cutting edge. When the last barrier is pushed aside, the operator goes back to the routine job of finishing the fill, moving a giant blade full and dumping it cleanly onto the exact spot where it's needed. Then this versatile bulldozer hauls a culvert that will carry the overflow from the dam. The pipe is transported quickly to the place where it is needed. A light load, but a very important one, which is dropped into position simply by lowering the bulldozer blade. The versatile blade covers the culvert, finishing a tough job that has seemed easy, thanks to the operator's skill and the tough machine he drives. Now a different problem is presented. A side hill road is to be pioneered with the right corner of the blade working next to the bank. That corner is lowered up to 12 inches if need be by shortening the upper diagonal brace. The threads on this brace are completely enclosed and copper plated for easy action and protection from rust. Most of the digging is done on the bank side. This is mighty important for two reasons. First, it safeguards the road against cross-washing, and second, it keeps the tractor and scraper against the cut in case these tools are used in lowering and widening the grade. Now the operator wants to extend the cut. That means working in the opposite direction. So the left corner of the blade is lowered in exactly the same way the opposite end was dropped. There is no A-frame to clutter up the operator's vision, and the dirt just keeps on rolling high above the blade without once spilling backwards. The blade itself is sturdy and well-braced, yet it has not an ounce of dead weight. It's a good example of fine materials properly used. The longer you watch these dozers, the more impressive is their speed and their capacity. But big loads are not the whole story. They leave clean, true grades behind them. That proves you don't have to fight the blade to get a whale of a load. Another good work feature is the fact that these dozer blades can be lifted nearly four feet above the ground. A big advantage on many jobs. High lift is especially important when the outfit is moved across rough country. The steepest grades are climbed without difficulty and without fouling the blade. The absence of a top-heavy A-frame makes the trip far safer for both the machine and the operator. It's easy to detach these bulldozers or change from a straight to an angling blade. First, drop the dozer over a bank so the push beams will stay in proper position above the ground. That makes it easy to dismount the blade and also to hook up again without using jacks or blocking. 
Then remove the two nuts and bolts that hold the cap on the big ball and socket joint on one side of the tractor. Repeat the process on the opposite side. For the third and final operation, simply remove the pin from the bottom shift and the bulldozer is completely dismounted. A heavy radiator guard forms the shift mounting for these units. This is simple, compact and convenient and provides armor plate protection for the radiator. In a matter of minutes, the dozer is removed from the tractor. It comes off slick and clean with no heavy interfering structures left behind. Simply remove four bolts and a shift pin and the job is done. To change to an angling type blade, the operator drives his D7 between the push beams of the angling dozer. It's an easy job lining up the ball and socket joints. The hookup of the new unit is made by simply reversing the process used in dismounting the straight blade. The operator raises and lowers the newly attached blade to make sure everything is okay, and then gets going. He's all set to tackle another new job. A side hill road has a badly clogged drainage ditch. No motor grader is handy to clean it out. So the D7 with the right corner of its angling blade dropped down goes about the business of getting the job done. And once more, the dirt is rolling. But on this job, it's carried across the blade and piled in a windrow at the left of the machine. The silty material is loose and wet, about as tough to move as anything you'll find. But the big blade carries a full load and opens up the ditch at a single trip. Now the operator wants to spread the load and clean up the shoulder on the return trip. This means reversing the angle of the blade. Now these dozers are balanced, not only within themselves, but with the tractors for which they are built. So by simply removing two pins and pivoting the blade on its central mounting, the operator can make blade angle changes with a speed and ease that are almost unbelievable. Once more, the load is boiling across the blade. The tractor marches steadily ahead without a sign of track slippage. That's another result of perfect balance, which means smooth sailing for the operator, his machine, and the traffic that will travel the road. Finally, let's see what happens when you tackle a toughie. One of those abandoned side hill roads that has everything, all of it bad. We start out with an abandoned trail and wind up building a new road. The further we go, the worse it gets. But here is a dozer that is made for just this kind of a job. It angles a brimming load clear across the blade without putting any side draft on the tractor. This means top production, clean cuts, and lots of satisfaction for the operator. The earth rolls and keeps on rolling. That's real production for you. And no matter how high it rolls, it always falls forward, so yardage stays high and the grade stays clean. This rolling action is built right into these dozers. It's no flash in the pan either. It stays right with you on job after job and frequently doubles the yardage you move. These hard-hitting, hard-working dozers are real money-makers any way you look at them. The huge loads they roll ahead of the blade, plus the clean, smooth grades they leave behind them, set up an unbeatable combination for making earth movers happy. When stumps get in the way, they're rooted out pronto. First, the roots are sliced off on one side, 
and then the other. If several root cuts seem indicated, it's good business and good sense to make them. You'll save time and wear and tear by doing so. When you back off and make the big push, your stump pops out of the ground on the first shove. Then you can roll it off the right of way without any extra strain on your tractor or your temper. Trees, even big ones, are handled in much the same way. Take advantage of grade and gravity in getting rid of them. First, slice off as many roots as possible on one side of the trunk. Then make a root cut on the opposite side and alternate these cuts until most of the roots are sheared away. When you're ready to push the tree over, build a dirt ramp against the trunk, raise the dozer to the limit, and start rocking the old boy to sleep. It's just a matter of fire and fall back until the last roots pop and the tree begins its trip to the ground. These bulldozers are masters of their jobs. The tougher the job, the more impressive their performance becomes. They battle their way through rocks and boulders with the same brute strength that knocks down trees and uproots stumps. And so, with power to do almost the impossible, power to clear the land, to move the mountains, to force their way through the wilderness, power to shape the land for airports and highways and new homes, this is the task of these mighty machines. This is the task fulfilled to do the will of man.